Fantastic time, I did a stupid thing though, I got off of sunburn. Oh, I went up there, honest lads, a sunburn like you wouldn't believe. I went into a chemist shop, or as he called him up there, Farmer Thea. <laughs> I said, have you got? He said, Senor. I said, awful sunburn. He said, can you help me out? He said, no problem, Senor. Well, girls, he gave me calamine lotion and Viagra. Honestly, I said, I know what the calamine lotion's for. I said, what's the Viagra for? He said, Senor, it'll keep the sheets off him. <laughs> Oh, they did that for a fortnight, you know Because I give my granddad half of my actor every night. It doesn't improve his sex life, it just stops him peeing on his shoes. But <laughs> My granddad, he would have loved to be near tonight. He couldn't make it, unfortunately. Dead. No, mind you, the way he went glances away, I want to go quietly and peacefully in his sleep. You know what I mean? Not screaming and shouting like his passengers. I don't know. <laughs> And she just got in, is she? I'm right down, you can take it all over. Because I know my granddad who's still alive, see? My granddad, he's still alive, lads, and he's fantastic. He is, he's fantastic. I love him a bit. Deaf as a bloody post. <laughs> That's it, love you, Leah. That's it, I love you. It's all <laughs> My granddad, lads, deaf as a post, honest God. Hey, but we call him Spider Man. Not because he's that giant, he just can't get under the bath, you know what I mean? But, <laughs> Deaf as a pose, we were playing bowls the other day down the bowling green in Kamarin. He said the ball on the green, and, went, and as he went down the bottom of the green, he shouted at the fellow at the back, he went, Hey! How am I? And the fellow at the back of the green shouted back, he said, You're a foot in front! He said, What did he call me then? Because <laughs> you girls are buggers here when you go, I know what you like, I know what you like. Imagine the scene of Ferris Strip on the way down to London. <laughs> two old girls in the 80s. Two old girls in the 80s walking around London. I said to the baby, she said, I'm going to shop with her now. I'm going to buy something, take home. I'm going to turn him on when I get back. <laughs> He's in his 90s, for God's sake. Well, listen to this girl. She bought herself a pair of crotchless panties. <laughs> oh, what <laughs> I'm not sure what the shop was called, I think it was Gap. (laughs) 
She went home that night, girl, she put the crotchless panties on, she took a bra off, well, the boobs looked like two spaniels years old. <laughs> She's standing in front of her husband with the crotchless panties on, she laughed there. Do you want some of this, love? I want. He said, well, love, he said, no, I don't. He said, have you seen what he's done to your knickers? <laughs> Big old dude, you just got in well done, that's it. I don't want to point to what she's drinking on the front there, is it? It's a lovely night, though, to come on, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a fantastic show lined up. We've got the brilliant Mr. Phil Doyle will be coming on very, very soon. We've also got a young lady that we'll be introducing to you, and I'm going to tell you about this young lady very, very soon. As I say, it's a, it's a, it's a financial pleasure for me coming here tonight. It really isn't. <laughs> the richest man in the room. Look at that. Must be the scruffy bastard. Most men are doing clothes, does he? <laughs> I went to a disco the other night, I was talking to Phil we were from, he went home early because his wife was saying, come home early, and I was up there four o'clock in the morning, I was dancing with this girl, I had a few drinks like, oh girls, you want to see it? Oh, disco dancing, lights flashing, I'm giving it all this, I'm dancing with this bird, and she said, do you want to come back to my place? I said, yes. <laughs> so I went back to her house and then, oh shit. You know, that's a realisation when you switch the light on in her house. Oh my God. If she wasn't 80, she wasn't an 80. <laughs> oh. She said, do you fancy it or what? Oh. I thought, well, I need to know. <laughs> she said, you seem like a man of the world. I said, well, you know what I mean? <laughs> she said, do you fancy doing something a bit different? I said, what do you got in mind, Joe? I thought something kinky. I said, what do you got in mind? She said, do you fancy a mother and daughter? I said, yes, like <laughs> She went to the bottom of the stage, she went, Mom! <laughs> what is it called? My mother came down on a zipper frame. <laughs> she was 110, what is it called? Naked! Naked! She's standing there with a the zipper frame going, What you see between my legs, you can have. <laughs> I took it down and said, I'll have the DVD player. <laughs> Ooh, she had it, girls. Whoa, what? Whoa! Because I make love like a video recorder. Fast forward, pause, eject. <laughs> Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the, show, the part of the show that I'm looking forward to more than anything. You know what they say about that? I think the X Factor's back on tomorrow. They've got all these wonderful kids coming up and doing all this thing. But you don't need to look at the telly to find real star material. Because tonight we have a young lady, a proud father, who's going to bring on a young lady, ladies and gentlemen, that i gotta, I got to tell you now, if this girl isn't a star, nobody deserves to be a star. She's just 13 years old. She's got an amazing voice. She's going to sing some wonderful songs for you now. So I want you to put your hands together. Please. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Don't talk. Hold on. <laughs> you didn't buy all them drinks, did you? You should have saved your money. Look, we've got a proper haircut. <laughs> Fancy having a nose that big and a delight in it. What's all that about? Anyway. He won't get up when Phil is on, let me tell you. <laughs> so we're going to do it all again, ladies and gentlemen, for the camera. Can I just tell you before we go on, you might have noticed we've got some TV cameras in. Uh, tonight's show is actually being videoed, so if you're here tonight with somebody that you shouldn't be. <laughs> the camera's here. I've got to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm quite proud in the fact that this afternoon I actually signed a contract with Sky Television. and. Uh, which I'm chuffed about, and mind you, they have told me if I don't keep up the payments, they're going to take the dish away. 